What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I've got another very important AMC update to bring all of you this evening. So what we're going to be talking about in this update is a little bit of what we have to look for going into the rest of this week with the market. It is the week before the Fed blackout period and there are going to be a lot of speakers from the Fed talking. Now, most of these statements usually come out, they're pretty bearish. Um, they usually move the market to the downside. So those are going to be some things that we need to look out for. We're also going to be going over some of the technicals that we're seeing on AMC, the Ortex data, everything that we're seeing with the option chain right now, and an interesting development kind of going against every single thing that the shorts and the media outlets have been saying about AMC and the movie theater industry over the past year and a half. So make sure you guys stick around for that. But before we get into all of that information, if you enjoy the information and analysis that I provide for you in this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button. It costs you nothing to do it, but it really helps us out a whole lot in getting this information out to as many people who want to learn. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. And again, guys, you've seen the success that people have had with the 1348 trading method. Um, now, again, we are offering you guys a free trial access period until the end of the month. If you guys want access to that, we are also going to be giving you guys our proprietary trading algorithm that scans the market incorporates all of the rules that we teach you guys and it actually selects stocks based on those rules make sure you check out that link down below in the description so amc closed the day at 17 dollars 48 now this is not necessarily the type of day that we wanted to see on amc down three percent but if you're looking at some of the longer time frames some of these red days are relatively predictable right now. We saw this 1348 cross down on the four hour, closing candles below the 200 EMA. Yes, we did see a couple of candles flash above this 13 EMA on the four hour, but then we fell right back down below. So when we're looking on the four hour chart, it's kind of a little bit bearish right now. Now, when we look on the daily chart as well, we're seeing that 1348 cross down as well. We're seeing closing candles below the 200 EMA, the MACD coming down as well. Now, these are indicators of potentially a little bit of a sell-off. Now, with this in mind, well, if the technical indicators are saying, well, there might be a little bit of downside left on AMC before we can kind of reverse back to the upward direction and nothing has really changed with the short thesis, the fundamentals of the company, then this is just a technical move to the downside. We were talking about this a lot on the stream today that if we start to see the price move down, what changes? If you see the price at 40, if you see the price at 10, what is different? All of us are in this for the squeeze. If we start to see these price fluctuations and it's not really meeting our criteria to sell, nothing has changed. Now, when we come over to some of this economic data here, kind of taking a slight break from this AMC conversation. So if you don't want to hear about any of the stuff that's going to affect the market, make sure you guys skip ahead in the video. Now, Tuesday, April 19th, uh, we're going to get uh, the Chicago Fed President Charles Evans speaking at 12.05 p.m. Uh, and then we're also going to get Neil Kashkari at 8 p.m. tomorrow night. Wednesday and Thursday are pretty wild. We're going to get the San Francisco Fed President Mary Daly at 10.30. The Chicago Fed President, again, Again, Charles Evans at 11.30. The Atlanta Fed President, uh, Raphael Bostic at 1 p.m. Um, then on Thursday, we get the initial jobless claims, continuing claims. We are going to see Bullard speak again, and we all know kind of what Bullard likes to say about the overall state of the economy. Then at 1 p.m., we get Jerome Powell speaking um, on the global economy to the IMF. So there are a lot of things coming up this week, really potentially leading towards a lot more volatility coming in the markets. So if you guys are trading, that is definitely something that we need to take a look out for. Now, coming into the Ortex updates on some of these stocks here, AMC and GME, well, for AMC specifically, Specifically, let me just refresh this, make sure we have the most up-to-date data that Ortex is pulling for us. Um, so we have 100% utilization, which again, I'm going to keep saying is nonsense because we've seen the shares on loan wildly fluctuate. Um, the utilization has not changed though. So we have 133.63 million shares on loan, 19.54% estimated short interest. Now, again, a lot of people are kind of thinking that, well, short interest is going down. What's going on here? Uh, last week, we did end up getting this exchange reported short interest data right here, and it came in a little bit lower than expected. So it only makes sense that if uh, Ortex was overestimating some of these numbers that over uh, basically a week or so time frame after this exchange reported uh, data comes out, that Ortex's estimates are going to kind of come down to fall back in line. Um, we have 2.21% average cost of borrow, 2.73% max um, max cost of borrow. Then coming over to GameStop over here, 19.22% estimated short interest, 12.11 million shares uh, estimated to be sold short, 21.08 million shares on loan, 7.74% average cost of borrow but this cost to borrow max number right here, 
uh, that's a really, really high cost to borrow there that uh, I would not want to be paying if I was a short. Now, coming over here uh, to some of the Stonko Tracker data, um, now, we did see a lot of puts finish in the money last week, uh, so we could be seeing some of the residual aspects of the market makers kind of finalizing those positions with some of the shorting transactions uh, that they're going to need to take in order to hedge a lot of the puts that they've sold. But right now, if we're looking at this, the max pain is about $19 a share for this week. Now, since we're trading at a decent discount from where max pain is, uh, they're most likely going to have to go out and hedge a lot of these puts by shorting. So 19,814 put contracts are in the money right now, 29,000 put contracts out of the money. But when you look at kind of the total amounts, there's always going to be more calls Um that kind of exists on the options chain on AMC in terms of open interest because a lot of people are very hopeful, very optimistic that AMC is going to end up going up um, within this time frame here. This expiration date is on the 22nd of April. Um, so they're going to be buying those weekly calls. Is that the smartest thing to do? In my opinion, absolutely not. The technicals on AMC right now are really not telling me to get into any call positions. The last time that it did, when we take a look back on AMC over here, uh, let me kind of pull this up really quickly. On this four hour chart, we were talking about this on the stream all the time uh, was this 1348 cross here in these closing candles above the 200 EMA. This was the last time that I was really buying calls on AMC once we saw these things start to happen. Now, let's get into some of these things um, that are kind of going on with uh, the short thesis on AMC, what's been kind of going on with the streaming industry. We do have Netflix's earnings tomorrow uh, after hours, I believe. Uh, so that is going to be another indication of how these streaming companies are doing. But we do have some preliminary things that we do need to discuss, specifically this article that came out today. The streaming pandemic boom is officially over. British households canceled more than 1.5 million subscriptions to services, including Netflix and Disney Plus, in the first three months of the year, the reports revealed. Now, I want you guys to think about something right here. Now, I know a lot of people are really going to be saying, well, this is not a fundamental play. It's a squeeze play. I personally kind of disagree with that. The fundamentals are always going to help us um, kind of trend to the upside because if AMC had literally no fundamental value, then the shorts would be correct. Um, and in this case, that's just not the case at all. Um, so when we're looking at what's going on here, well, we're seeing a decline in subscriptions on Netflix and Disney Plus and an increase in revenues, um, in ticket sales, in foot traffic, in concession sales into movie theaters, specifically AMC. So that's a trend that's really important to look for that one, all of these big media outlets that are saying, well, streaming is going to take over. Obviously, they're not looking at any of this data correctly. Now, the other thing that I kind of want to show you guys really quickly uh, is this domestic yearly box office number. So what we have right now uh, in 2022 is about 1.697 billion US dollars uh, in terms of the box office for 2022 so far. Um, we're looking pretty solid here, guys. The number one release is Batman. We have a lot of solid movies coming out throughout this year as well. We're looking pretty good in terms of getting more foot traffic into theaters. Now, I know that's not something that a lot of people really care about, um, but I think it's something that you should care about. The fundamentals of this company, as AMC continues to get better fundamentally, it continually weakens the short thesis. So that is going to wrap up this update on AMC. If you guys enjoyed the information and analysis that I provided for you in this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button. It costs you nothing to do it, but it really helps us out a whole lot in getting this information out to as many people who want to learn. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. So I hope you guys are having a great evening and I'll see you guys in the next one.